Hello, Bojana here from BIM Object Germany. Welcome to this introduction of window and shutter products from the manufacturer Bayer. These consists of vertical, sliding windows and the sliding shutter systems which are now available on BIMobject.com or as I am doing here via our integrated BIM Object application for Revit. The product pages are organized by manual and motorized sliding shutters and one for the vertical sliding window. So let's take a look at the product page of the sliding shutters. Here you will find a short product presentation with product images and the description text. For more information about a particular product you can click on the links tab and view links to manufacturer specific data from the buyer homepage. Related information and industry standards can be found under the tab classification. In the download menu you will find free Revit family files for different shutter design types. You can simply download the Revit RFR file through our application and this is loaded directly into your instance of Revit. So let's go back to our current project file, where I have already downloaded the buyer products. I will place the sliding shutters on these windows here. Therefore, change the view to floor plan level 0. Select the window on which you want to place the sliding shutter and check in the type properties the width and the height which you require for the sliding shutter size. Now go to the architecture tab and select Component. Here you will find all the buyer sliding shutter products. Select for example the telescopic sliding shutter double leaf and place it next to the window. By changing the LOD to Fine you are able to view the clearance area for the shutter in opening mode. Within the type properties you can now add the window width and height and change the construction type of the guide rail from punctual to whole length. Within the type properties you will also find materials, finishes and the technical data of the motorized sliding shutter. After the configuration is done, simply move the product into position by using the midpoint. Within the 3D view you can change the elevation from the sliding shutter so the height fits to the window height. The motorized objects include MEP connections which you can see here and within the properties you are able to open or close the sliding shutter. To place the symmetrical double leaf sliding shutter go back to the level 1 floor plan view. Check again the parameters of the window you want to place the shutter on. Move the object by dragging the midpoint and adjust the elevation. The buyer shutters and vertical sliding windows are controlled within the parameters for minimum and maximum constraints. Here we will place the vertical sliding window on this new stand kiosk in this project. By using the BIM Object Revit application you can simply download the sliding window family into your project. Within the product page you will find again product pictures with examples, a description text, links, related information and classification. For an easier placement change the view to floor plan, simply place the window and adjust the sill height within the properties. Here you can also choose motorized or manual operation control as well as opening and close function for the sliding window in the 3D perspective. These objects are available now on bimobject.com. Thanks for watching.